other one I just wanted to um, li literally share this video uh, with all of you to first of all thank you for uh, being with me for the whole year uh, in and doing this gratitude journaling and I thought uh, for the finale I'd rather do a, a video to share with you some of my thoughts my ideas uh, about the year um, in gratitude journaling where all of you have been a huge part of the uh, success or failure of this particular event. Uh, so I think first of all, I just wanted to congratulate all of you here for being with me for the whole year. Woohoo! I think that's really something that we need to sort of celebrate together. Uh, it was not an easy feat. Uh, you probably had noticed there were some number of delayed entries where I probably either forgotten that I needed to jot something down or maybe fell asleep a little bit earlier. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, together we managed to stay the course and we completed 365 days uh, of journaling. Um, so I think uh, the first thing, uh, the second thing is I just wanted to share with you what are some of the um, benefits I think that I got from this experience. I think the first one is, um, I think as a personal bit, I wanted to really share with some of you and some of my patients who I've recommended to do gratitude journaling and they were asking, so uh, doc, um, you know, how can I do it? You know, what should I do? Uh, how long does it have to be? You know, is it difficult? You know, it's really hard for me to do it. And all sorts of doubts that they had. Um, and I think um, as a result of that, I decided, well, you know, I've been doing it a little while personally on my little... Um, uh, journal, but I thought maybe some of you here might not know how to do it, so we do it together. Uh, as I shared with you before, we've got a few ways that we can do it. We can do it um, three best things that have happened to me today. So you just got three best things, either in a sentence or a word. Uh, some of you might be able to recollect one good thing that's really happened, and that's really what I did. Um, if you wanted to go another level, you would jot down the observation that you had about that thing that you wanted to uh, feel grateful towards and then you dive a little bit deeper in those thoughts and, and write some of the reflections that you got uh, from those particular incidences that happen uh, in your day-to-day -day life. For those of you who might be really busy, you might want to do a weekly gratitude journaling. So you'll have 52 entries about pertinent things that stuck out with you over the last one week. Um, so these are just some ways that uh, we could do gratitude journaling. And as you have seen over the last year, uh, I did it uh, for 365 days uh, with you, of course. Uh, I don't think it'd be possible for me to get uh, through uh, without your support. Um, and just having you at the back of my mind, uh, where some of you are encouraging either to personal DMs or sharing with friends and family that you're reading this particular content and you find it quite helpful and sort of encouraged me to continue writing and thinking about uh, some of the um, ideas or, or some of the incidents that happened. Well, to be fair, um, I think the second thing that I realized is that it's really hard to be very personal. Um, you know, in, in normal gratitude journaling, you really write some of your personal thoughts, uh, but we were doing it on mass uh, where it was, uh, was able to be shared. So I have to apologize if there's any bits and bobs that were a little bit generic in a sense or general because... Um, you know, we are catering to a mass audience and um, you can't name names uh, that are not meant to uh, or identify certain patients that I might have thought about um, during those reflections, whether they were something that I felt uh, positive about or something that I felt negative about. Um, it was impossible to write those. Um, and I guess it came out the way that it did. But I think um, I think overall, I think we did quite all right. I think the third one was um, doing this gratitude journaling for the whole year. It allowed me to feel a bit grounded. Um, I really did, um, was able to appreciate the little things in life. Uh, I think I was able to slow down as a result as well. Uh, and um, I think I was able to prioritize or at least manage some of my, my expectations uh, by doing this gratitude journaling exercise with all of you. You know, some of you might be thinking, but, you know, haven't you done this before? Yeah, but... I think when you do it uh, on your own, uh, for your own self, it's a little, the, the, the learning or the experience is a little bit different. Um, and I think you guys have to experience it if you wanted to. You have a blog, a personal blog, people following you. 
and then you decide to write some of your thoughts. I think it's a little bit different. Uh, well, that's how I felt, at least for the last one year that we've been doing this together. Um, I think the other one is uh, the fourth thing I think that um, really was important was that, um, you know, it sort of proved that having that accountability allowed you to show up uh, for the masses um, uh, or for the most of, you know, most amount of time. I think I learned that quite a bit. And uh, I suspect that even in 2024, even though I don't think I want to go through this 365 days being accountable to all of you, literally, uh, I'll still continue writing down some of my thoughts and reflections, um, you know, for for sharing purposes and mental health advocacy. Uh, but I don't think uh, I'll be, you know, jotting down day one, two, three. It's just too much pressure on my side uh, with regards to that. So I think those are some of the things that I learned uh, in 2023 with regards to um, gratitude journaling, you know. Um, has it helped and improved my mental health? I, I think it had. Uh, there were some moments that when I felt a little bit down or I felt a little bit um, annoyed or I felt a little bit ungrateful, um, the gratitude journaling allowed me to be centered. Like I said, it sort of grounded me a little bit. Uh, in what's been happening, uh, I definitely appreciate quite a lot of things like, like you know, when I was thinking about uh, what's happening in Gaza, for example, um, you know, it allowed you to be a little bit more uh, mindful and uh, at peace about some of your little uh, bonuses in life. You know, you don't complain as much because you you really suddenly realize there's just so much that you need to be grateful for. I think the the one big thing that really stuck out to me this year around was I've had a number of friends who've lost families uh, and I'm at that age where uh, some of us lose our parents um, or some of us um, are you know deranged or distant from our friends and I think uh, having uh, being able to do this gratitude journey allowed me to center myself um, and and sort of allow myself to see the benefits uh, or the privileges or the 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 uh, priv- yeah, privileges that I've had, uh, which are like parents, for example, uh, and a close knit uh, work of network of friends, and, and I think that really helped me quite a bit. Uh, it definitely allowed me to reduce all my uh, grief uh, that my friend uh, Anne had moved on to Joho. Uh, definitely through this gratitude journaling. You, you sort of reflect on the number of really high notes that we had together um, as colleagues and as friends over the last uh, few years, uh, definitely over the last few months uh, while we're working together, and of course even post, uh, you know, post her move to Joho, we we could see that we were able to still connect, and we're still connecting at this point of time. So I think these are just some of the benefits that I uh, found. Uh, what was some of the difficult thing? Well, I think first of all, showing up. I think that's bloody difficult. The second one is, you know, after a while, uh, because you have to make it a little bit, not you have to make it, but it can't be too personal, right? Uh, I know you guys want to have a lot of personal details coming out, but I, I don't think we can do that, and I didn't want to do that anyways. And, uh, and you know, there was some stuff that we need to filter in a little bit. Uh, I think the third one is um, there was some monotony at some point, and but but at the same time, it's monotonous maybe for some of you. But it was very revealing for me because I realized that uh, friends and family were a big part of my um, my journey in life. Actually, I, I I didn't really realize it until I was I was writing it out across to all of you, and then I realized, holy moly, you know. Uh, number one, I only have such a small group of close knit friends. Number two is friends and family really make a big difference in my life and the impact they have. And I think third is. Um, like I said, just the, the small things in life that you you realize as you're doing this. So I, I thought that was, you know, some of the things that I felt that was quite difficult um, for this journey. But again, like I said, I, th- I think it was a successful 2023 with regards to this. You know, uh, so what's in store for 2024? Well, phew. I think first of all, um, you know, I'm really thinking about sharing a little bit about this library of mine and the books that I'm reading. Uh, it might be a little bit boring, but I thought that, um, you know, it, uh, it you know allows me to think and reflect on the books that I, I'm reading and how it sort of um, shapes the way that I think about certain things about mental health particularly. And I thought I wanted to share that across to you. I think the second thing is that I really uh, wanted to try to show up for 2024 on the physical health aspects. 
you know, I've been li reading this book called Outlive um, by Pita Atia, and I don't want to do a Hugh Jackman and share it like, oh, guys, you know. But it's a really interesting book, and um, I shared a little bit about it inside one of the gratitude entries. Uh, but it's it's really a book that shaped a little, little bit of the way that I'm thinking about medicine and health now. And I wanted to um, do a little bit more physical health um, and and try to be accountable. I, and my friend Sharifa sort of put out this challenge for all of us. We start tomorrow, which is a little bit you know anxiety provoking, uh, considering that this is going to be New Year's Eve, and I'm pretty sure some of you are going to be out having a New Year's Eve do. I definitely will have some other fam family and friends across um, f uh, for New Year's Eve. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to wake up tomorrow and do this exercise thing that we want to do, but uh, we want to show up for ourselves for about 30 minutes each day uh, to do some level of uh, physical activity, whether it's to walk, run, swim, you know, play, I don't know, golf, uh, you know, uh, tennis, badminton. Uh, maybe do some stretchings, you know, play with your Apple iWatch and all those little things that they have about um, HIIT and yoga or meditation. No, not meditation, but yoga. Um, maybe Zumba or, or something like that. And, and and just jot that down and share that with you. So you might be flooded next year in 2024 with a lot of these kind of entries um, apart from some jotting down uh, that I plan to do, hopefully. And I think the third thing I wanted to do with all of you here is revive my podcast. In fact, as we're speaking right now, just before this, my friend Mazran, uh, who you've probably met in some of the posts as well, um, is currently working really hard trying to figure out what happened to our podcasters before. We had 72 entries, apparently, uh, and we've sort of lost it. We, we don't know where we've put it. The, the site that we hosted it has now disappeared. Um, you know, and we're trying to figure out again uh, with uh, Spotify, hopefully, uh, and get it on across to you. And I think there'll be lots of talks and jots about uh, mental health. Uh, I hope this will be quite useful for students, um, might be useful for my trainees, uh, might be useful some, for some of you here as well. So, um, yeah, so this is a really long video. I don't know whether I'm going to put this straight on Facebook. I don't know whether we can do that or has this got to go on um, YouTube, but nevertheless, uh, these are some of the thoughts for 2024. So, I'll jot this all down. So we'll have a little bit of a summary. But you know, if you want to watch this video, then the video is here for you. Um, just want to thank you all again uh, in 2023 for the amazing support that you've given me in writing, uh, pushing, getting me to do this gratitude journaling. I hope that it was as rewarding for you as it was rewarding for me. I really hope that some of you have also started your own gratitude journaling writing and you continue to do so. Um, you know, I, I hope that you're inspired uh, again with pen and paper uh, as I have been uh, in my own personal journaling. But again, you can do it online like we've done for this year. Um, and, I, and I really um, am so grateful to all of you uh, for the support that you've given me. I can't say that enough. Um, and when I think about it, you know, this community that we've built together has just been truly amazing. Um, and I just wish all of you a lovely, uh, you know, I hope you had a really amazing 2023 as well, um, whether it's with friends, family, whether it's traveling at work, in your personal life, uh, in your recovery journey. You know, I, I, I really hope and pray that you guys had an amazing 2023. And I'm really looking for 2024. And I hope that you guys are looking uh, the same way too. Uh, and I hope that you'll have an amazing 2024. Uh, I hope we'll be able to do stuff like this together. Uh, and let's see, maybe 2024 we'll have some you know, face-to-face -face events and uh, we'll get to see each other and say hello. And, uh, and let's see how we move from there. So again, thanks guys for everything. Uh, guys and gals, of course, uh, for everything and all the support you've given and all the, uh, the amazing journey that we've had together. Uh, have a great one and we'll catch up with you next year.